Hello everyone, my name is Frank and this is my February wrap up. I read seven books this past month and I DNF'd two. I'm not going to lie, this month felt a little disappointing compared to last month. There's at least three books I can think of that I read this month that I was really anticipating and I was really excited to read them and then they just kind of let me down. Okay, so the first book that I read this month was My Policeman by Bethan Roberts. It's historical fiction and romance. It takes place in the 1950s. Our main character is Marion. We also have another main character, I would say, that's Tom, because we switch back and forth between their points of view. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you read the book first before watching the movie, because if you just watch the movie like my boyfriend did, you're going to be very confused at the beginning because they don't really say anything you're gonna be like what is going on but it's all in the book and if you read the book first it just all makes sense all the the silent parts at the beginning and this was the first book for me that I was really excited to read it I felt a little disappointed there was some boring parts as I was reading I really don't like the main character I'm sorry I really enjoy Tom's point of view though I felt like if the book was Tom's point of view 100% I probably would have rated this book higher I think I thought there were a couple parts that were done well, but honestly, I just, I did feel a little let down. People really talked this book up, and for me, it just didn't excite me, I guess, as much as I wanted it to. I'm sorry. So my next read was a horror thriller known as Fantastic Land by Mike Bakovin. I have an entire podcast episode in my bio, so if you want to go check that out on the Thrillers and Tea podcast, you can do that. But to give a little bit of a rundown, I was extremely excited for this book. It was like Lord of the Flies meets Battle Royale. Kids and adults, they get trapped at this amusement park. A hurricane comes in. It all goes to shit. I thought the premise was great. The execution, no ma'am. One of the issues that I had with the book was that every single chapter was a first-person interview. It gets a little boring. It gets repetitive. Ugh. I also felt like that there was many moments that felt very unrealistic and that is hard to look over. Going to read this book, I recommend listening to the audiobook. I had listened to the audiobook while reading the physical copy. They act their butts off. They, so many people were recommending this book to me. So many people were loving this book. It's a good hat. It's it's a good hat. The third book that I read this month that I was really looking forward to was The Measure by Nikki Ehrlich. This book was for my friend's book club. Everybody who turns 22, they get a string in the mail, and that determines how long they are going to live. And, ooh, that premise, that premise is awesome. The execution, once again, I wouldn't say it's bad. It just goes in a completely different way. And one of the main questions in the story, it doesn't get answered. And you're like, I promise that I did like some books this month, don't worry. But with The Measure, I will say, this is Nikki's debut book, really really good for a debut author like I am impressed with that the fourth book that I read was A Dawn of Onyx by Kate Golden this is a fantasy romance this is I'm doing some traveling book club and this was the first book that I got in the mail this was my favorite book of the month our main character she is a healer who gets kidnapped by the kingdom of Onyx because she's trying to save her family's lives so she goes over there and heals people there's like this enemies to lover romance in the story i didn't expect this book to have as many twists as it did they caught me off guard i thought they were done very well I thought the writing style was nice there's a little bit of spice for all the people that like a little if i had to give the book one critique i would say the relationship between the main characters In my opinion, there's like this brat dynamic going on and that's personally not my cup of tea. And if you're looking for like that daddy dom personality, this is not it. However, I feel like there's a great plot and I cannot wait to read the second one and eventually the third one. My last three reads before I go over the two DNFs that I read were the first three of the Improbable Meet Cute series. The last three I'm going to cover in March. I'm going to try to go through these pretty quickly. So the first one, was great. It was my favorite one. They first go back and forth through emails for quite a few years. Honestly, it's almost like November 9, but written better. (laughs) The second one I thought was pretty great. And that was probably my second favorite one through all six of them that I've read. And they go back and forth between these like cute little car notes on the car. And then other things transpire. I thought those first two, I recommend reading. The third one. What the... What was this? What in God's name was this story? 
the main character, she gets stuck in some sort of flotation tank, which I will admit, I've been in a flotation tank myself. That would be very scary without like any of the lights or anything, and it seemed like it was pretty tight. But it's like her and a fireman trying to save her. It just was, I, I say no more. It actually makes me question if I should even read The Hating Game. Please let me know in the comments if I should actually read that book or not, because this novella really made me question if I should read it or not. So that way I had my two DNFs this month. The first one was Icebreaker. I know a lot of people are familiar with that book. I was listening to the audio version. I know I'm just probably not the demographic for the book. The, the first moment that the guy spoke, I knew I was in trouble. I think I got like five, six chapters in. I just, I, I wanted to try it because I know a lot of people liked it. I couldn't do it. And then 2 a.m. thoughts, I thought, you know, this is a very short poetry book. I was waiting for a friend in a Barnes and Noble. I saw the poetry section just right out in the open, figured, oh, you know, I'd read some poetry maybe while I wait. I maybe read a few at most and it just felt very bland to me. I, I want to feel something when I read poetry and it just felt very bland. And it was one of those books too where I told myself, Frank, it's so short, like just get through it, just get through it. And I, I couldn't even do it. I was like, life is too short. I'm not gonna do that to myself. If you got to the end, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what your favorite book was in the month of February. Have a super special awesome day and bye.